Hello and welcome to another bike, or in this case, a frame with no name and a restoration, more of a bike build. But before we get onto that, what I generally always say, if you're into your vintage retro road bikes and you're not a subscriber to the channel, then please click on subscribe because it's completely free and helps out a lot. So this is exactly how the frames come in. I feel as though the red has been added at a later date, maybe had some fencing stuck on and sprayed over. It was a retro thing to do uh, back in the day, but I think the frame was originally white. Um, it's had some decals added, added these uh, Paganini team stickers, but we've established that it's definitely not uh, an Italian bike. It's definitely more Reynolds tubing, and um, yes, it's lovely and lightweight, nice dropouts, and it's a lovely frame. Just a shame to let it go and not give it some special loving. I do have a Shimano Tricolor 600 group set uh, available to me, so what I'm thinking is basically what we're going to do is have the frame stripped back and we're going to do design to celebrate that group set. So I have the Shimano and them colours of the Tricolor built into the design of the frame itself uh, and we'll build this up that way. So I've got to come up with a design and we're also going to use Mark who we've used before from MR Creations to do the paintwork. He's excellent. He did the Rally Banana restoration, uh, bike build and also the Rally 653 race which was fantastic. So excited in that respect and as I say it does deserve some loving. So what we're going to do now, we're going to strip the bike down, not much to strip at all. We've got a bottom bracket, headset and some gear levers to take off. So we're going to do that and I'm going to start on the design. So what are we waiting for? Let's crack on and get it stripped down. Brilliant, well that was no hassle at all, very straightforward indeed. Um, I do have a bucket, or it's a bowl in this case, just down below here. Not many parts in here at all, but generally as you take things off, put them back on, put them all in one safe place. We need to get the group set together, get that cleaned up, and we also need to come up with some inspiration for the design of this frame and get it sent off to Mark. So let's get on with that. Okay, so here's the frame in its current state. Let's make it white first of all and add some grey to the lug work. Let's add the Shimano 600 and the Reynolds tubing on the crossbar and also the forks. Now a little bit of colour keeping with the colour scheme of the group set and last the Shimano wording. I think pearl white with the grey lugs should look fantastic. Now let's get this design off to mark. Quick update, well, we've got the wheel set all ready to go. These are Mavic MA40 rims with some Michelin Dynamic Gumball tyres. Bit of a favourite of mine, but these should look fantastic with that retro look. We've got a group set all on the side here. The Shimano Tricolour, it's all based on that. That's all ready, it's all been degreased and I'm gonna give that a light polish. Um, I don't want to get rid of any of the anodizing, and uh, so I'm going to touch up any bits that are actually scratched. We've got some lovely Shimano white and grey pedals to celebrate the actual colour scheme and Mark has also been in touch to say the frame is nearly ready so I can't wait for that. We've also got a nice Campagnolo seat post and uh, I've got to locate a nice matching saddle to go with the look. We've got some Sinelli 
handlebars and also a nice long stem there. So I've got these to wrap, we've got a saddle to find and also that all important water bottle. Stay tuned because this is going to be a fantastic build. Well, what a result. It is absolutely stunning. Mark really has outdone himself on this frame. We have used him a couple of times before, once on the Rally Banana Project and once on the Rally 653 race. Both fantastic bicycles and yes, I couldn't recommend Mark enough. The frame itself, exactly how the design was. It's in this lovely pearl white with these gray looks and obviously we've got the Shimano there with the tricolours built in. It should absolutely look amazing with the group sets. We've got that all on the side there, all ready to go as we generally do. And we've slightly dressed the frame, we've got the bottom bracket in and we've also put the headset in. Got a lovely chrome chainstay here on the back that's to put on, celebrating and keeping with the Shimano theme. That's got the Shimano logo on there. And I've also managed to locate a fantastic brand spanking new turbo saddle so yes that should look great i cannot wait to get this bike together we've also got the elite water bottle i have got a water bottle just down here but you're going to have to wait for that it's a fantastic match and uh, yes i can't wait to get this bike back together so what are we waiting for let's crack on and get this bike back together Wow, well, what a result. It looks amazing and far better than I expected. Compared to when the frame first came in and how the bike looks now, it looks stunning. Really happy with the Shimano group set, works really well and really does complement the frame and the color scheme of the design. Loving the handlebars, really nice touch with these blue bar ends, match the blue on here and also the Shimano pedals with the grey. It looks absolutely stunning. Turbo saddle, well, it can't go wrong with one of them. And we also have the water bottle just down here, as I mentioned. It's a Shimano one, very in keeping indeed. The tricolour, it's original, back from the 80s. So let's pop it in, have a look. Brilliant. Well, it looks as though it belongs there. We do finish these builds off with a ride. The bike is slightly too small for me, but 
I'm going to get it out anyway. And I do have a jersey back from the 80s, matching of course, which is the tricolours. So I've managed to find one of them. So the sun's out. So let's get this bike out and try it out. Well, this has been the frame with no name and what a fantastic road bike it's turned out to be. It's absolutely stunning. Really smooth to ride, a little bit small, but just great to get it out and give it some new life. It's in collaboration with Surrey Cyclone who do fantastic work with youth engagement. And if you're new to the channel, then why not visit our website at bikeituk.club. On there, you'll find lots of historic vintage road bike brochures to help you in your own projects, some vintage cycling kits, and also the mitts to match the kits. I hope these videos have given you some inspiration to get that old bike out. If you do have enjoyed watching the videos, then please click on subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.